same place on the ridge, but heading kind of northwest. Um, okay. Let's get into the fucked cauldron. <laughs> and I'm, I have a literal cauldron, and we'll pass some things around. Um, I do. I, I don't need to convince. I don't want to convince you, but I don't need to convince you that we're fucked, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very interested in it, that remaining a question. Um, I sometimes think we're fucked. I sometimes don't. I don't want to. Like I'm really. I would like to. <coughs> I'd like everybody to be where they are with that. There's lots of examples. War was declared two days ago. Um, there's a study just in um, under a month ago that says we've crossed six of the nine safe limits for life on Earth. Um, I can go through those, but I, you probably may know them, or we can talk about it. Like I'll be here. Like I said, we probably have the week before. We're fully fucked, so like, we can just talk more about it. But, um, yeah, we've been talking about tipping points. We've been talking about multiplier effects. Um, AI and the sort of exponential of the exponential that AI creates is a multiplier effect um, in ways that we don't know. The trend has been towards sooner and worse. Um, and, you know, the reason I want it to be a, a question is because I don't think th there's anybody who gets to make the call that it's too late. Um, there's, if there's one blade of grass alive left on the planet, um, it's as deserving of its share of soil and light and water as, as any other being, and we don't want to discourage it and say, no, it's too late. Um, Donna Haraway, as, as Justin so well quoted in his talk, um, reminds us to include in this generation on the, on the planet the born ones and the disappeared. Um, so the born ones include the post-World War II generations, the industrial animals. Um, there's like seven chickens for every human on the planet right now. Um, the proliferation of high-consuming pets, the explosion of the extractionist high-consuming human populations on the earth, the vast immiseration of the poor on the one hand, and then on the other hand are the vast numbers of the disappeared, the missing generations of those who've, been, who've experienced genocides, the disappearance among the species whose numbers have been so reduced or have been simply wiped out, the billions upon billions of the disappeared. Um, she says, I don't think the born can be thought apart from the disappeared in this world of forced growth, diarrhealities, multi-generational communities of compost calling out, it's not too late. Um, let's just take a moment to pause for the disappeared and the disappearing and any losses that you have loved. Thanks for taking that moment. I want to, I guess I want to take the temperature in the redwood grove of fuckedness from that place. Is that if people, you don't have to raise your hand, but if you want to, fucked? <laughs> Not fucked? So, that's great, it's great, it's great. It's, I, that's, it's allowed to shift uh, later in the day or early morning, depending on what you've had for, for breakfast. Um, but, um... I want to say, I think I saw, because I started in 2010 and there were still, in my, in my, this is just my impression, there were still some, um, like, we could save the world and turn it around. I think we were smarter than to think save the world and use that terminology, because obviously a good planet can have a couple rounds of species rising and then fucking it up and not sharing well and then going down. Like, so the world is um, blessedly um, not dependent on our little blip of... Uh, of crazy. But I wonder if I th what I thought I saw was a slowly sinking experience of oh we're not gonna we're not gonna turn it around. That in the last decade there was a shift of um, maybe skirting the skipping a stone over the surface of of despair and and um, I asked Joanna Macy this um, sometime in the last year or two, uh, whether that was her experience, and um, she said no. No. And what she said was, well, first she said you can't so have, we the, can't great have the great turning with, uh, without the great unraveling. In lieu of yeah. the great unraveling. And she, what she said was it was, it was gradual. gradual. Yeah. Um, very it was very undramatic. It 
was sort of a like shifting a shifting of a, of a rainbow, rainbow or colors or, or, colors or something. He says, oh, I oh, see. I see. Before it was like Before this. Before it was like this. Oh, now it's like that. Now it's like that. It's the same, the same ingredients. ingredients. The relationships, the relationships are more internal, internal, internal and also larger, larger as we're shown more. Showing more. this more and more. She said there are there billions, billions of, of planets, planets suitable for life. life. And some wink and out. Some wink out. Some collapse. Some collapse. Even if we fail. This is still like worthwhile, even if it fails. Our love and our And the universe will know Earth that on planet Earth, there were faithful ones who stayed faithful even when they failed. And that the beauty of being a mirror to the glory of creation of this exquisite universe it's still true even if we're on a planet where we blew it